Begin in Shavasana, lying on your back. Separate your legs slightly apart. Relax them. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes. Set your intention for this class. Picture it in your mind. Feel all of your muscles relaxing, getting ready to stretch. Prepare them for the class by imagining that they are ready to receive the stretching that you'll be doing. Picture them expanding, releasing, and imagine that all tension from your muscles are being released out with every breath. Continue to breathe deeply, and with each exhale that you take, continue to imagine that all tension from your muscles are being released. Take a nice deep inhale, and then exhale and release all that tension. Release the tightness from your muscles, any areas that you might feel specifically that are tight. Taking one more deep breath here. And slowly open your eyes now and grab your right leg in your hands, bending your knee and hugging your knee in towards your chest, holding on to your right shin bone. You can also gently rock that leg from side to side to get even deeper into that hip. Just be gentle with yourself to start out. Don't force anything and keep breathing deeply. With each exhale, imagine that your hip is releasing out even further, just gently hugging that leg inward. And now you can take your right leg and cross it over to the left side of your body, dropping it down to the floor and looking over to the right, reaching your right arm out, coming into a twist. Breathe as your spine spirals around. Feel the stretch in the outer edge of your hip, maybe even the outer edge of your thigh, your back. And don't force anything if your leg doesn't come to the ground as mine doesn't. And don't force it down, just relax here. And with each exhale, imagine that your muscles are expanding even further. Visualize the muscle fibers stretching out. And take one more nice and deep breath here in this position. Getting ready to bring your leg back to the center line of your body. So coming out of the twist, release your right leg down onto the floor and then coming into the other side. So gently lifting your left leg up, grabbing hold of your shin and gently rocking from side to side if you'd like. Getting a bit deeper into that hip socket as you hug your leg in. You might also be feeling a stretch in the back of your left leg. Your low back as well. But once again, don't force anything. Don't be too forceful, especially at the start of the class. You want to gently ease into things. Taking one nice and deep breath here. And getting ready to come into the twist. So take your left leg. Cross it over to the right side of your body, bringing that left leg towards the ground, and then reaching out with your left arm, looking over your left arm to the left, keeping that left shoulder down on the floor, and coming into this nice twist on the ground. As you remain here, you're directing your breath to the muscles that are getting the most stretch. So maybe the outer edge of your left hip, outer edge of your left thigh, maybe your low back, maybe even your shoulders, and just feel your whole spine coming into a spiral, continuing to breathe deeply in through your nose and releasing it out in the same way, and getting ready to bring that leg back to the center of your body. 
coming out of the twist. And now grab hold of your right leg in your hand as well, hooking both knees in towards your chest, holding on to your shins. If you'd like, you can gently rock from side to side as you hug those legs in, just to release out your lower back on the floor. If that's uncomfortable for you, just stay still. Gently hug your knees in towards your upper body. Try and keep your low back on the ground. Feeling a stretch in both hip sockets, as well as the back of your legs. Breathing here. And now getting ready to come up to a seated position. So you can gently rock through your spine, or if that's uncomfortable, just roll onto your right side. Come up to a seated position and come into Dandasana on the ground with your legs stretched out in front of you. Keep your feet flexed, sitting up tall, so not on your tailbone. Sit up on the two sits bones at the bottom of your pelvis. Feel those bones grounding into the floor as you reach up through your entire spine, through the crown of your head. And on your next exhale, slowly fold your torso over your straightened legs. Grab hold of your shins, your ankles, or your feet, wherever you reach today. Looking down, and keep as much length in your spine as possible. So as you can see with me, I'm not completely hunched over my legs because my hamstrings are not that flexible. So I'm trying to keep as much length in my back through the crown of my head as I can without hunching over while at the same time stretching my hamstrings and my low back. With each exhale, you can try and stretch a little bit further than you were before. So using your hands to help you take an exhale and slowly pull yourself a little bit further towards your legs. Don't recommend doing it too fast or too harshly. Be nice and easy with your muscles. Getting ready now to come up to a seated position once again, lifting your torso upright. Bend your left leg, step on that left foot, and hug your knee in towards your chest, sitting up tall. Raise your right arm up towards the sky with an inhale. On an exhale, hook your right elbow to your left knee. Bring your left arm behind you. Take an inhale, sit up tall, and on your exhale, twist around to the left, towards your left leg. Breathing as you twist around, just as we did on the floor, except this time we're sitting upright, still feeling the two sits bones at the bottom of your pelvis planting into the ground. And you're reaching energy up through the spine and out through the crown of your head as you inhale. With each exhale that you take, you can try and twist around a little bit deeper than you were before, looking behind you as much as you can, using your arm on your leg to help you. Taking one more deep breath here, and slowly unwinding yourself from the twist, coming back to the center. We're going to come into a forward fold with your knee bent here. So you're going to want to walk your foot a little bit further out to the left so you can bend your torso forward. So step it out a little bit further and also step it in a little bit further towards your hip because we're going to be wrapping our arm around our leg. So folding forward once you've placed your foot correctly and grab hold of your hands behind your lower back, wrapping your left arm around your bent leg and breathing as you find length in your spine in this forward bend looking down towards your right leg and continuing to breathe into your hip, your back, the back of your right leg should be getting a stretch as well because of the forward fold. And breathe also into your hip sockets. Feel them releasing out as you stretch here. We carry a lot of tension in our hips. Well, a lot of us do, so if you're feeling stressed, definitely breathe into those hip sockets. On your next inhale, come up from the forward fold. You can now take your left leg and cross it over your right, keeping that leg bent and stepping on the bottom of your left foot. You have the option of bending that right knee in, keeping that foot in towards your left hip, 
or keeping it straight out, depending on your personal flexibility. And for a moment, just breathe here as you hug your left knee in towards your chest, wherever you are in this pose, whether your bottom knee is straight or bent. Still sitting up tall, reaching energy up through your spine with each inhale. And feeling the stretch in the outer edge of that left leg as you hug it inward, keeping both hips on the ground. We'll get ready to come into another twist. So raise your right arm up and then take an exhale. Hook your right elbow to your left knee. Bring your left arm behind you. Sit up tall and take another exhale as you twist around to the left. Breathing as you keep both hip bones on the ground evenly. Feeling a stretch in your hip sockets and the outer edges of both hips. Maybe your lower back as well. And the same as before. With each inhale, try and sit up even taller. With each exhale, try and twist a little bit further than you were before. Not forcing anything. Don't be too forceful. Just breathe and be gentle with your body. Your breath will help you stretch if you allow it to. So with each exhale, try and twist even further, looking behind you. And taking one more breath here. Slowly unwinding from the twist and coming back to center. And then you can release your legs, bringing them out into Dandasana one more time. Sitting up tall, straightening both legs. And on an exhale, you can come into another forward bend. Once again, holding on to your shins, your ankles, or your feet, depending on your flexibility at this time, and keeping as much length in your spine as you can. So try not to hunch that back over. Remain here. Keep breathing. Keep releasing out those hip muscles, the back of your legs, the hamstrings, the lower back. All at the same time as you're keeping as much of a straight spine as you can and keeping energy in your feet. Taking one more deep breath here. And on your next inhale, come up with your torso out of the forward bend. Take your right leg and bend your knee, stepping on that right foot, hugging your knee in towards your chest. Coming into a twist on the other side, lift your left arm up towards the sky. Hook that left elbow to your right knee. Bring your right arm behind you. On an inhale, sit up tall. And on an exhale, using your arm on your leg to help you twist around to the right. Keep sitting up on your two sits bones as we've been doing. Try not to sit on your tailbone. Keep those feet flexed. Keep energy in your hands and your arms. With each inhale, sit up tall. With each exhale, twist around a little bit further than you were before to the right. Feeling your whole spine in a spiral. Keeping energy going out through the crown of your head as you sit up tall. Feeling a stretch in your hips, your back. Feeling your whole back twisting around. Continue to breathe. Continue to sit up. And with each exhale, try and twist a little bit further than before. Take one final deep breath here. And slowly unwind back to the center. Coming into our forward fold, step your right foot out a little bit further and also step it in towards your hip. Adjust if you need to. On an exhale, fold your torso over your legs, wrap your right arm around your left leg, and hold on to your hands behind you at your low back. As you breathe here, keep as much length in your spine as you can, trying not to hunch over, keeping energy going out through the crown of your head. Keep your left foot flexed, getting a nice stretch in the hamstring and even the calf of the left leg. And your lower back as well. Also getting deep into that right hip socket. Releasing the tension from that area. Stretching your shoulders as you wrap your arm around the front of your chest. 
Continue to breathe. Continue to stretch a little bit further with each exhale. Taking one more deep breath here. And slowly come up to a seated position, lifting your torso upright. Keep your right leg bent and take your right foot, step it over the left leg. You have the option of bending that left foot in towards your hip or keeping the left leg straight. And for now, just sit up wherever you've chosen in this position, sitting up tall and hugging that right knee in towards your chest. Feeling a stretch in the outer edge of your right hip, keeping both hip bones on the ground evenly. On your next inhale, take your left arm, stretch it up towards the sky. Take an exhale and hook that left elbow around your right knee. Take your right arm behind you and on an exhale, twist around to the right. Using your arm on your leg to help you twist around, you can use your other arm on the ground to help you as well. With each inhale, as you've been doing, sit up tall. And with each exhale, try and twist a little bit more. Gently, not forcefully. Be kind to your muscles and use your exhales to help you stretch further. Keep breathing. Keep stretching your hips and your back. Getting a deep stretch in those hips releasing out tension from those hip sockets and also stretching the outer edge of your hips as well. Take one more deep and full breath here. Slowly unwind back to the center. Straighten your legs, release them out and come back into a final Dandasana, stretching your legs out in front of you. Sitting up tall, not on your tailbone, but on your sits bones. Take an inhale, sit up tall, and on your exhale, fold your torso over your legs. Keep as much length in your spine as you can. Hold on to your legs, your ankles, or your feet. Breathe into the back of your legs and your low back. Stretching those muscles. Releasing your hip sockets once again. Looking downward. Taking a few more deep breaths here. And on your next inhale, come up with your torso. And now come into a wide leg position, Upavista Konasana, bring your legs out to the sides, keeping your knees pointed up towards the sky, keep your toes pointed up towards the sky as well, still sitting on the two hip bones at the bottom of your pelvis, not on your tailbone. Reach energy up through your spine, continue to breathe, start to feel the stretch in your legs. And on your next exhale, Fold your torso in between your legs onto the ground. Looking down just as before, keep as much length in your spine as you can. Try not to hunch over as you forward fold. If you'd like, you can bring your forearms down, or even if you're more flexible, you can bring your forehead onto the ground. But wherever you are today, just breathe into your stretch. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs, your hip sockets, backs of your legs, your back. And just relax here and keep using your breath to help you stretch further and further. With each exhale, feel yourself deepening the stretch without forcing it. So just using the breath and going naturally with what your muscles are feeling. Just being kind to yourself and remaining here as you breathe.
Take one more deep inhale through your nose and release it out. On your next inhale, slowly walk yourself over to the left, facing your left leg, stretching the right side of your body. Try and keep the right sits bone on the floor, also keeping your knees and your toes pointed up towards the ceiling. Just stretching over to the left and elongating the right side of the body. Keep as much length in your spine as you can here. And once again, continue to use your breath to help you stretch. Take one final deep breath on this side, releasing it out through your nose. And open your shoulders forward now by placing your left arm on your left leg and reaching that right arm up and over on the diagonal, really elongating the right side of your body. Try not to hunch over to the left, really reach energy up through the crown of your head and through your top arm as well. And slowly now come back up through the center line of your body and come right into reaching over towards the right on the other side. Reaching up and over at the same time with your left arm, gently resting your right arm on your right leg, and elongating the whole left side of your upper body. Try and keep your hips even on the ground, keeping that left hip bone planted firmly into the ground. Take a few more deep breaths here, really reaching energy up through the crown of your head and elongating your spine. And slowly now you can turn to face your right leg, placing both hands on the ground. And once again, relaxing into this stretch on the right side, stretching the back of your right leg, still keeping the hip on the left side planted into the ground. Finding as much length in your back and your spine as much as you can. Still reaching energy out through the crown of your head. Breathing deeply. We still have energy in our feet. Keeping those feet flexed. Toes pointed up towards the sky. Take one more breath here. And gently walk your hands towards the center of your body. Now coming into a forward bend one more time. Don't forget about your knees and toes. They should be pointed up towards the sky. Keep as much length in your back as you can, looking downward, dropping wherever you can onto the floor, your hands, your forearms, your forehead, wherever you can. And gently, when you're ready, walk yourself back upright. You can use your hands to help you out of this stretch. Now, bending your knees, and bringing the bottoms of your feet to meet each other in the center line of your body. Baddha Konasana. On an exhale, you're going to come into yet another forward bend, looking down towards your feet. What I like to do here in Baddha Konasana is bring my elbows to my knees to gently help them down towards the ground. If they already reach the ground, then you can just relax over your feet here, keeping as much length in your back and your spine as you can. And really getting deep into those hips and those inner thighs, stretching your lower back, and breathing deeply as you remain here. Take one more full in-breath and out-breath. And on your next inhale, bring your torso upright. Taking your legs now and crossing your shins or crossing your heels in front of you as I'm doing here. Whichever you choose, whichever is more comfortable for you. 
we're going to be rotating our head around to the right. So drop your chin to your chest and continue now with the circle, rotating your head around towards the right, nice and gently. Try not to disturb the rest of your body, keeping it stable, just gently using the weight of your head to help you stretch your neck. Releasing any tension you might have in the muscles in that area. Gently and slowly, nice and smooth movements. You can close your eyes also if you'd like to do that. If that helps you to relax a bit more, you can go ahead and do that. If not, you can keep them open. And gently rotating your head around at your own pace, around 10 times in total. Just moving nice and smoothly. You don't have to count, that's all right. I'll tell you when to stop. So just keep going for now. Continue to breathe. Keep sitting up tall as you're rotating your head around. Trying not to slouch forward. Still maintaining energy in your spine. Just gently getting into the muscles in the sides of your neck, the back and the front. Come into one final rotation and now coming into the left side. So just rotate your head in the opposite way towards the left this time. The same pace. So go at your own pace. Moving with your breath. Keeping your eyes closed if that helps you as well. Continue to breathe as you keep rotating around and around. Feeling the muscles, releasing any tension you might have there in your neck, in the tops of your shoulders. Just release it out as you breathe and rotate around. Nice and smooth, gentle movements. We're going to do about three more circles here. Still breathing deeply. Two more. Really work through those muscles. And one final rotation to the left. You can come to now dropping your chin to your chest. And then slowly bring your head back up. Switch the crossing of your legs now, bringing the opposite leg in front, coming back into your comfortable seated position, sitting up tall on the two sits bones, once again, keeping that spine straight. Place your hands on your legs wherever is comfortable for you now, and we'll come into some shoulder rolls. So lifting your shoulders up towards your ears and rolling them backwards. Same pace as we did with our head roll, but this time with our shoulders going up and back. Try and really stretch the front of your shoulders, the muscles in your chest as you bring them up and backwards. Really releasing the tension now from your chest area, your shoulder muscles. Just a few more circles. Breathing into your muscles, direct your breath to that area that you're releasing out. And now come to rotating your shoulders in the opposite direction. So bringing them up and forward, stretching mainly the muscles around your shoulder blades, your upper back. As you bring your shoulders forward, breathe into your upper back and feel those muscles releasing out. Feel the muscle fibers gently opening, releasing, bringing out all the tension from that space, directing your breath there. Come now to one final rotation forward, and now take your right arm, bring it out to the side straight, and then cross it in front of your body. Hook it in with your left arm, and hug that arm in towards your chest. Keeping your shoulders facing forward as much as you can, and just stretch the outer edge of your right shoulder. Take one more deep breath in and release it out here. 
And then release that arm, bring it out to the side and bend your elbow behind your head, bring your hand behind your head, and then grab hold of that elbow and pull it towards the center line of your body, stretching the tricep muscle, which is the muscle in the back of your upper arm, still keeping your shoulders facing forward, keeping the rest of your body stable, and just directing your breath to that arm and the muscle that you're stretching. On your next natural exhale, you can release your elbow from your hand and move to the other side, straightening your left arm out to the side and crossing it straight in front of your upper body, hugging it in with your right arm and stretching the outer edge of your left shoulder. Try and keep the rest of your body stable. Remember to still keep sitting up tall on the two sits bones at the bottom of your pelvis. Those two bones should be planted firmly into the ground as you stretch your shoulder, not sitting on our tailbone, breathing deeply into the outer edge of your shoulder here, getting deep into those muscles, taking one more deep breath here, and then slowly releasing your arms and bringing your left arm out to the side, bending your elbow behind you, and then grabbing hold of that left elbow this time, pulling it towards the center line of your body gently. So don't yank it over, just gently allow some pressure to pull it towards the center of your body. Stretching the tricep on the left. Take one more big, deep breath. Really expand those ribs as you breathe. And slowly release your elbow now and come to lying on your stomach. Once you're on your stomach, place your palms flat on the floor on either side of you, right next to your ribs. So place them right in line with your ribs. Elbows pointed up towards the sky. Arms are parallel to one another. Bring the tops of your feet to the ground, your forehead is to the ground. And on your next inhale, you're going to lift yourself up into an arch or a full cobra, Bhujangasana. Make sure you don't lock into your elbows as you straighten your arms. Hold yourself up with your muscles. All ten fingers are planted firmly into the floor. You're stretching your back here, energy up through the crown of your head. Stretching your abdominals a bit as you arch. Taking one more deep breath here. Slowly bring yourself back down onto the floor. Your head should be the last thing to reach the floor. Take a few deep breaths here. Relax for a moment. And get ready to come up into another arch. So on your next inhale, slowly peel yourself off the floor into that arch. Keep the tops of your feet on the floor. Keep your hip bones sending themselves down towards the ground. Try not to lock into your elbows. Try to keep your shoulder muscles away from your ears. Energy going up through the crown of your head. And slowly bring yourself down onto the floor. Your head is the final thing to reach the ground. Taking a few deep breaths here, we're going to come up into one more cobra. On your next natural inhale, slowly peel yourself off the ground one more time, arching your back, breathing a few more deep breaths. We won't hold this one for as long. And now on your next exhale, slowly peel yourself back onto the ground. Your head reaches the ground last. And now you're going to reach your right arm straight out to the side. Keep your left arm where it is, flat on the ground, right next to your rib, elbow pointing up. And you're going to bend your left leg and then bring it to the floor towards your right hand. So you're going to be stretching your right shoulder, the front of your right shoulder, on the ground, using the weight of your body to help you on the ground, stretching the front of your shoulder. 
If you're experiencing some discomfort on the ground with your shoulder or your hip bone, you can place another mat, another yoga mat or a blanket or some cushions underneath your body before you do this. So you can pause the video and go get some more cushions, come back into this position when you're ready, just to alleviate some of the discomfort on the floor with your bones. So once you're comfortable, just breathe into this pose, breathe into the front of your shoulder, send your breath there, feel your body in a slight twist even. Stretching that shoulder out, really releasing out the tension from the front of your chest here as well. Taking one more breath here. And then slowly using your hand to help you bring your leg back towards the center of your body. Flip onto your front and then come into the other side. By stretching the left arm out, bringing your right palm flat on the floor next to your ribs. Bending your right leg and bringing it behind you on the ground towards your left arm. Once you're settled in this pose, come back to your breath. Try and direct your breath to the muscles where you feel the most stretch. You should be feeling a stretch in the front of your left shoulder in the chest. Maybe even the back a little bit, but mainly in the chest and the front of your shoulder. So breathe deeply there. Feel the muscle fibers opening up. Feel them expanding. Taking just a few more deep breaths here. And you can slowly come back to the front of your body and then make your way onto your back. So flip over to lying on your back. Walk your heels in close towards your hips. Point your knees up towards the sky and then take your right ankle and cross it over your left thigh making a four shape with your legs. Then hug your knees in towards your chest by holding onto your shin or the back of your left leg and hugging those knees inward, feeling a stretch in the hips, the outer edge of your right hip as well, and breathing deeply as you hold this stretch. Take one more deep in-breath and release that breath out through your nose. And then release your legs from your hands and switch sides, taking the left ankle, crossing it over the right thigh, making a four shape with your legs, and then bringing your legs in towards your upper body by holding on to your right shin with your hands. Or if that's too much for you at this time, you can hold on to the back of your right leg. And as you remain here, just as you did on the other side, breathe into your hips, the back of your legs and allow yourself to relax into this stretch. Take one final deep breath here, really deep breathing, and slowly release your legs from your hands. Come now to hugging both knees in towards your chest, grabbing hold of your shin bones in your hands and breathing here for a moment. Breathe into the hips and the back of your legs, keeping that low back on the floor. We'll be taking both knees now and crossing them over, bringing them to the floor on the left side of your body. Then gently lift your head up and turn it over to the right, reaching your right arm out to the side and just relaxing here into this gentle twist. Your knees don't have to be in line with each other. Just make sure that your right shoulder is on the floor.
Take one final deep inhale through your nose. Release it out in the same way. And slowly bring your knees back to the center and switch sides by dropping them over to the right side of your body, twisting over to the left with your upper body, keeping your left shoulder on the ground, reaching that arm out to the side. And once again, just relax in this stretch. Keep that left shoulder on the floor and breathe into the twist. Bring your knees back to the center and then come to straighten your legs, coming into a Shavasana, your final pose of the class. So straighten your legs, separate them apart, relax them out. Rest your arms by your sides and turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes and once again come back to your breathing. You can imagine that your breath is allowing you to relax further into the ground. So just imagine that with each exhale, your body is melting deeper and deeper into relaxation. All your bones, all your muscles, your joints, every part of you is just relaxing even further now with each exhale.
slowly begin to move your fingers, your toes, your hands, your feet, your arms, and your legs. Just bringing slight movement back into your body, nice and slow and gentle. And when you're ready, roll onto the right side of your body with your knees bent, your right arm underneath your head for support. And stay here. Coming back to your breathing. Use your hands in front of your body to help yourself up to a seated position. Cross your shins in front of you. Sit up tall on the two bones at the bottom of your pelvis. And bring your hands to your knees and close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through your nose and release it out in the same way. Give yourself a moment of gratitude. Say thank you for taking the time that you need to be healthy, to practice yoga, and to stretch your body. Bring your hands. To meet at the center of your chest and bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste.